Hi right, guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Candace Taking Forks. Uh, so... Why well, not? Classic Britain, you know, you take all the silverware. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well there's the man Mad Band's Enclave. Oh, hey. It's invisible. I just, all I did was said I wanted to walk there. Oh, oh yeah. I'm a Dragoon now! This fucker is here. Uh, target is out of sight. I want to hit that guy, but... I'm trying to debate where to doors. go. I shouldn't have Oh, one on the high ground, too. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to be somewhere good for me to go. Yeah, there's also one on over there, too. Two AP points? How's that two AP points? Fuck. I want to go over here, but I'm trying. I'm trying to tactical retreat over there, but okay. Fuck it. I don't think I probably can. just get probably down a range. I'm probably just get teleport him away. You could tactical retreat to the bottom of the ladder, maybe. I can, but I, I don't think I really want to do that. I don't know. I mean, like... you've already spent some movement like running around, right? Yeah, just around this guy, though. So. Essentially, it'd be the same as teleporting top of the ladder. Do you re sh Oh, actually, I know where I can go. I can go, I can go like, right here. But... Is there a reason for me to do that? Well, you wanted to go on the high ground, didn't you? I do, but there's an archer already up there. That's a problem. I probably I probably shouldn't even do that, to be to be fair. I probably should just get completely out of the... You know what? No, I'm gonna pull back. I just decided this. Alright, let's do some... Uh, Buffs. Right, do you want me to pull back with everyone else, or do you want to just? I mean, I leave it up to you. Plus, it left up to me. You complained when I teleported things. I mean, I, I, I just, I. She was just out of position. That's just how it works. So. I know. I want to feel tell where he is because of the. Oh, he's going that way. Yeah. All right. Don't mind me, I'm gonna just uh, stand gonna, to my ground. I am gonna pull Red Prince back though. I mean, is it can you see the, the archer? Can you teleport him down by chance or I think I he's out of range, he's way out of range. Yeah. But he's gonna be I mean, able next to turn I can maybe think about it, but I think I wanna get blood and it. So I hope that's blood. Yeah he is. He's dropping with blood? Yeah he is. Blood infusion. Let's give him a power infusion. Let's give him a fast set infusion too, fuck it. Let's buff him up. Oh, he's so swole. Hopefully that uh hopefully that archer goes a little bit out of position. If he doesn't, I'll teleport him away. But he's probably gonna have he's gonna have tar, I guess, let me tell you that much. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Oh, wait, what the? <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> I could have been there. Okay. I could take it. Alright, let's do, uh. Okay, so who should we focus down? The I guess the one that's on the low ground here? Um. I guess. That one? We can blow him up. Let's blow him up. So now that Archer went into a completely uh, inopportune position. Trump Joy used Fortify and Trump Joy. Or tr Oh good, he... Get away from me! He got you good. And, and there's a... Uh, there's Beast all the way in the back again. <laughs> well, he started the fight there. Not much I can do about that. Quick, quick, sprout ring wings and go into the fight. No, nope. now you're gonna walk in. Yeah, you need movement speed on him. I think you're gonna get a bunch of movement speed shit on him, maybe. What do you mean? Oh, you can get movement speed on him. So if you're gonna move him around, it's like, yeah. That's why I think that one free movement thing would actually be really good for you on Beast. I can't have to point a scoundrel, and I... I mean... Is there plenty? I can do plenty, it's fine. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm just gonna bite the bullet, I think, and uh, 
Same as same as turns. Water balloon. No, not a water balloon. Why? Like he has mobility. Like yeah, I'd like movement speed, but that tends to go to you. Yeah, there you go. Wait, I thought I used barrage. Why did barrage? Did I have six points? I may have had six points. Here, we'll just hold on to that. Uh, <laughs> what? Like he cloaked right away and was like, no, no back. Not global warming or cooling. Excelsior. Nether like, swap. What? what? Where, where, why is she there? Oh, she's. <laughs> Who is she? Hey, I'm safe now. Oh, that's the worst swap I've ever seen. Uh, okay, I can protect Sabeel. I mean, I can battering ram this guy. Yeah, just because you can do you can do that. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Uh, I can range attack or I can stop beating this guy down. Uh, just range to attack something. Um, sorry, well, I'll range attack the guy next to the Red Prince so you can maybe get some... Yeah. I'll, I'll be wear down his physical armor. Yeah. Oh no, Seville doesn't like that. Fuck. Oh yeah, I guess now I can't... I'll heal Seville. Okay. Cause she, she, as I said, she gets more crit when she's at full life. So it's really if I can teleport or anything. Teleport the... Um, teleport this okay, right, I got the plan. Play. Needs to be a wood totem, cause... Doing fist damage. I'm ready. I mean, aren't you around blood? Yeah, but be out of range. Uh, Totems at range, buddy. What is this range you speak of? Sabeel is at full life, actually. Uh, right then. Oh, wh when did that happen? Probably because they encouraged. Uh, yeah, that would be it. I'll save the point then, I'll heal another turn. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Good totem, get him. Have the ladder? Ah, oh, shit. I don't These think are the questions can. we ask when we're desperate. I kind of want to go fuck up the archer, but eh. yeah. The thing is, he's I got, know what I can do. He's got an angle on me, but I don't have an angle on him. I don't like that. Probably gonna slip. Actually, I got for I got my armor. Yeah, it's not divinity one. It's not your grandfather's divinity. Yeah. All right, that, there that you works. go. Give me some fizz armor. I'm just gonna hit the guy next to me. With Sabeel. I'm gonna walk up here and then I'm gonna bull rush this guy. Uh, yeah. What? Alright. I don't have anything else. When it gets to be my turn, I'll teleport that guy on the right over. Oh, Seville doesn't like that. I mean, honestly, they're actually not doing that much damage anymore. The the game, I don't know why, but the game seems to have gotten a little bit easier now. But I think it's because they're level 5 and we're level 7. That's probably the reason, actually. And we got better gear now. What was that guy doing? <laughs> Why would you run next to this guy? Who's he trying to hit? What? Like, Sabeel? Why, is the, why fuck Sabeel Day, honestly? <laughs> they they nether swapped her into like a vulnerable position and they're all like blowing her up. Like... This is why I would never get glass cannon anymore, not in this game. Alright, I'm gonna see about getting... Chuckle fuck over there. Oh, I can just... I can almost get him. Aha! You ordered one idiot? Yeah. I'm gonna put him next to my incarnate, because, you know... <laughs> this actually oh, thing's pretty damn scary. Yeah, Red Prince wants in. I'm thinking, like, the Red Prince already got the check-in to deal with, so... Oh, yeah, you're right, he does, actually. Probably should just do okay, that. I was thinking of putting him with the Red Prince, I think, no, you've already got something to deal with. 
I can just fly so, wherever I want now, so. <laughs> I just figured the worst place that guy could be next to is the Incarnate, because he hits like he hits like 80 for each hit. That's disgusting. It just occurred to me, I have Drain, and so on a course I can gain uh, uh, a source point. We haven't been using that so far. I forgot I had that, actually. A source point from a corpse? Yeah, I can gain a source point from a corpse. There oh, that's not corpses. the ability I meant to use. Oh, okay. good, good shit. Yeah, it's a good shit as well. I was hoping to do that. I should get stunned. Why would you do that? Why would you do that again? Alright, I'm going to turn this dude into paste. Alright, can I... Oh, it's so close. I want to do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Shit. Fine. I was going to try to do a whirlwind, but I'd be wasting movement. Are you confused? Or do you all... Is this the real one? Hey, he's, uh... He spawned another one. Another one. Or wait, did he make a new one, or what did he do? I mean, we've beat, like, every single one we've beaten up thus far has turned into an illusion. That one did not turn into an illusion, it's the real one, I think. Hey, you have one behind you. I know, I'm aware. There's a tiny bit of blood there. Hey. Yeah, I told you there was blood there, but you're like, it was all boring. No, I think they just spawned because you got slapped recently. Uh, Shut up. Maybe. Uh, no, I think that's what we want to do this turn. Like, I could rally and cry, but yeah, it's full health. Like, three more spawned in various positions. What, shot? what kind of bullshit was that? Blood totem. Ow. I'm glad he split the damage up like that. Okay, well, I can't do anything to this guy this turn. Well, I can finish off the dude. He's got, like, 11 HP. Let's see if this ends the combat. Oh, it does? Look at that. Oh, hey. Vault of Breakfast Rex updated. We killed oh, Truck Toy. We actually killed him. Oh, oh wait. wait, so we tapped... So we teleported that guy was the right call. Yeah, apparently. We we like we we actually just flat out killed him. Oh dude, a pinewood bow. Uh, that's garbage. Band of Brachus. Item is cursed. I'll have to a time to give that. Going to in the bag. <laughs> As you pick up the ring, you feel a cold, dark pain shoot up your arm. Your mind itches. You don't hear, but feel a whisper in your ear. It tells you to slip the ring <laughs> onto your finger. It's the one ring, dude. <laughs> I dare you to save and put it on. There's a, there's a, dude, there's a, there's Trump Joy's, uh, fucking, how do you say it? I, I'm saying Trump for some reason, I don't even know why. Trump Joy. Yeah, I just feel compelled to build walls and shit. I, I'm gonna give this one-handed weapon to you, but it's probably shit. Okay. Went over and come by the tank. The ring just got tighter. A lot tighter. Uh... What did it give him? Item is cursed. Something isn't right. The ring's gone, but not its curse. Uh, the curse is still on me. I think. What's the curse? I, like it, it said it uh, it removed some of my memory. I think. Collar, red prince closed. Where's the ring? Cursed ring. Discovered the ring, removing the ring did not uh, lift its curse. It must find a new host. Interesting. What is the curse, though? Yeah, I, I have the me memory or something. No, I still have memory. So what does it do, then? I, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, that's your call on this one. Do you want to load it, or do you want to just deal with the curse? No, it's not doing- it's not- I wasn't cursed, though. When I removed it, it removed the curse. Yeah, it removes the curse. What the hell is it talking about? Alright, I'm, put, I'm putting out all Braxis' gear. Curse! <laughs> curse! <laughs> Alright, it doesn't do anything else. You okay? It doesn't re it doesn't do that, though. That's the thing.
It says it says it d didn't remove the the curse, but it. I mean, what what what's the negative thing that's on me right now? I mean, yeah, I got the worm. That's from the hat, though. All right. Looks like I have to do something important. Odd. My helmet seemed to stir just now. Uh. Dude, my helmet stirred. So okay, the, you know you know Brachus's, uh helmet. That's what grants me purge. By the way, purge grants me a source point whenever I uh, whenever I eat something. Oh. Yeah. Well, I. So I the eat Red Prince is covering all this cursed shit right now. I mean, he just has warmed me. Does he have something else to you? No. I'm so confused. Maybe maybe if I had one of the the curse things, then maybe it would be something else. Wait a second. Oh no, now I'm cursed. Okay. All right, there's something there's something to this. I'm not sure what though. I mean, I I, I don't care. It's fine so far. All right, it's your your choice. But nothing's happening to me though. I mean, I don't have the ring on anymore. I feel but... fine, he says. No, I I don't have the ring on anymore. I'm I'm just I'm kind of confused on what what the the ring d did. It said that I like I needed to give it to someone else or something. I'll do the do treasure room. Okay, I'll let Sabiel go first. Her elven eyes will see. Uh, that's plenty. Nice. All right, leggings. That's for strength eleven. Uh, two retribution. I guess beast can have it. I don't give a fuck. Small thunder rune. Uh, and water arrow. Supernova skill book. Purging wand. Look at that wand. Oh good. It hums with inner source. Take some shit from the gold pile. Uh, there is a uh, necromancer's soul jar. Oh, that care you care about that. Hey, another quest item. Heart of the tyrant. What does that one do? <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. Looks <laughs> <laughs> where's the wolf at? Where is it? I just hold out. Oh. Oh yeah, sweet. Nice. <laughs> nice, he says. <laughs> you know what this shit's gonna do to you. He man. knows what's good. Ah, it's been cursed. I'm burning now. <laughs> oh, good. You want me burning? Is it just set me on fire, or how does this work? I thought you were healed by burning. Yeah, I guess I gotta remove that. Yeah, it just it just sets me on fire. I could have sworn my helmet just jolted when I consumed sauce just now. Okay. I mean, this is a really nice uh, chest piece here, but I can't use it because it sets me on fire. There's got to be something to that. Like we now have every single piece, basically, of his of his thing, except maybe an amulet or something. All right, well. You, you made it all this way. Uh, okay. Great, you did. Uh, well. <laughs> now you're here, you take your revenge. Did I eat his fucking body just a second ago or whatever? Fine. Don't worry about it. Great, you did, but no thanks to him. I'm. I'm sorry. He trembles and seems to shudder with a quiet sob. I'm cursed, you know. Bloody Brachus bound me here to protect his vault. He has my soul in that jar just there. And I can't leave without it. As long as the jar stays unbroken, I can never truly die. What did he do to deserve such a punishment? I don't rightly know. This was the Source King's way. Befriend you, then destroy you. I was a fool to expect I'd be an exception. His favor was intoxicating. All right. That's no excuse, but it is the reason. We will break his soldier. Really? You... You would? He drops to his knees before you and grabs onto your feet with both hands, head hanging. Thank you. Oh, sweet. 
Uh, there's a finesse helmet with summoning and more finesse. Uh, Jill boots with uh, intelligence 11, movement, magic armor, physical damage. And then there's some strength gloves that gives it a lot of, uh, some HP and water resistance. So. Well, let me tell you that he does not, he's not having any good gloves right now. Okay, we'll do that one then. I'll just, oh, what are my gloves right now? Yeah, mine are amazing, so Beast can have them. We got Telkinesis Potion. We can... It gives uh, one Telkinesis, so I'll just keep that in my bag. You never know when we'll need that. Frost Rune. Hey, you never know. The Wall. <laughs> nice. Considering the guy's name is kind of like Trump. <laughs> just gave us the fucking Wall. Would you like the wall? Are you on the wall? Dude, that has to that has to that has to be intentional. There's no way. Alright. Hey, it's actually kinda of better. Yeah, I mean, at least some retribution, but that's pretty good. Once, but no longer. Now it's covered in grime, its paint chipped away, and its jewels long stolen. I'm gonna break some of these. The soul jar rocks slightly, light flashing from underneath its lid. On its rim, you can just barely make out the name Gratiana. Reach out and press your hand against the jar. As soon as you touch the jar's cracked surface, you see a vision of splendor. Silks, fine food, and decadent lechery. But underneath it all lies bone and blood. The vision shifts. You see burning villages, slaughtered women and children. You see her, purging wand in hand, standing amongst it all. She throws her head back and laughter echoes in your skull. A shadow falls across her and you see a large, weeping face. She reaches out as if to comfort, but Bracchus drags her back. You see her fall into the mire of the swamp, trapped. As you pull your hand away, you can feel a deep, longing sadness in your soul. Is it regret? Or just sadness for a life that used to be. Should we just smash it now, or should we just bring it with us? Who's Gratiana? That's that's. I think that's one of the three skeletons. I think that's what these three soldiers are. No, because they, like they're all no, they're all saying necromancers over there. Huh? Oh. The other ones say necromancer, Gwick, necromancer, Rask. Okay. That one's just Gratiana. You want We could also absorb the soul inside. That sounds like evil, dude. I fucking love the idea I'm doing that. Something inside you strains. You are replete. Oh. You cannot absorb more source. It's a it's a it's the a thing we can still. it's to give us a source nice. point. The terrible vision fades. Hmm. No one's beyond forgiveness. Whatever sin she can always be she can always redeem herself. No one is beyond forgiveness. Whatever her sins, she can always redeem herself. Okay, d does it not play the the dialogue for you? No, it plays it. Just, I always forget. <laughs> Alright. Because it doesn't play mine, whatever response I make. is It never plays mine. Because I guess it's the one I'm, I'm initiating it, that's why. Uh... Yeah, I guess she could be. She should be forgiven. Whatever a person may have done in life, they can always be redeemed. However her life began, it ended well. No one should be damned because of their youth. Right. Let's talk, let's see these other ones. And you to eat a soul. Yeah. This jar glitters and glows. From within, you think you can make out the distant sound of laughter. Lay a hand on it. With a jerk. Your mind is pulled to a scene in a tavern. You see a dwarf in the center of the room, joking us all around raw with laughter. All bar the zombies, who are slavishly serving food and drink. The door opens, and a tall, beautiful woman stalks into the room. She's flanked by heavily armed guards. You can't make out her words, but see the fear in the dwarf's eyes. The dwarf mutters a word, and the undead lurch towards the intruder, but are cut down like wheat. The dwarf tries to run, pushing her friends into the woman's path, but is grabbed before she can escape. As she's dragged away to a tower, you hear her cursing Bracchus Rex and his whore. Even when she's thrown inside and the door sealed, you can still hear her shouts. You pull your hand away from the jar, your head swimming. You can feel the dwarf's cold terror still twisting in your gut. I, into the backpack. Nice. <laughs> 
Nice. <laughs> the vision fades. Any sins can be forgiven under the right circumstances. I've rarely seen such cowardice on display. Keeping the dead as slaves. What a disgusting display. She deserves every punishment she got. Being locked in a tower was more kindness than any <laughs> necromancer deserves. Necromancers. All right. Necromancer of Rask, soldier. Source hunter. The jar on the plinth before you seems ancient, but is in surprisingly good condition. It's covered in pictograms that you can't understand, but you're sure you just saw one of them move. All right, open the... Oh, sorry, place your hand upon the jar. The pictograms spin to life, and you're dragged into a dream. You see the lizards of the ancient empire turning their backs on you, casting you out into the wilderness. As you roam, the human apes turn away from you, all but one. One smiles, one opens his arms, one says he'll take you home. Bracchus Rex. He promises power for a price. He picks off your golden scales one by one, stripping you down to the bone. He promised you a crown, but all you got were shackles. You try to fight, try to reclaim what's yours, but a woman takes you by the hand and leads you to a tower. He promised he'd take me home, you cry. You are home, she smiles as she seals the door. This is where you belong. Your hand drops away from the soul jar, your skin prickling. In the back of your mind, you hear a small, scared voice whimper before fading to nothing. All right, yoink. Good find. <laughs> Good find. Good find. The long dead lizard's visions fade. He committed his crimes out of pain, not malice. He ought to be forgiven. It's the price of pride and greed. He got what he deserved. No amount of loneliness excuses wickedness. He helped a monster for selfish reasons. <laughs> what he did shames his people. It seems like both our followers always agree with me. <laughs> <I'm just gonna laughs> say. The soul jar stands on its plinth, glowing softly. From within, you can almost hear the whisper of a voice. All right, lay your hand on the surface of the jar. You see, or rather, you feel a far-off land. Frozen breath hangs in the air. Pine needles brush your cheeks. And in your arms, you can feel a weight. A body, dead. But you have hope. Your vision swims. You're older, but perhaps not wiser. You march at the head of a shambling host, the enemies of Bracchus Rex melting before you. The scene twists again. Now Bracchus stands before you, a beautiful woman at his side. You lash out in treasonous rage, but cold arms bind you. You're sealed away in a tower. Your screams fill the darkness. You feel a jolt and open your eyes to see the soul jar before you, lying still in the vault. Your hand falls from the jar and grips the pillar as you try to calm your ragged breathing. I slip it into the backpack. Good find. <laughs> the necromancer's memories fade to black, but the feelings remain. I'd forgive this soul. Punishment must fit the crime. This doesn't. Yeah, fuck necromancers. We played Doom 3. We know what they're capable of. <laughs> Anyone who marches at the head of an undead host deserves whatever punishment they get. One must wonder how many more lives they took. How much misery the scum caused. <laughs> it's just a group with me all the time. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, so I have I have now a bunch of soul jars. So if you use them, it gives you a source point. So one for each person. And you shouldn't use it now, obviously. You have too much to carry. How much are these buy? They're three pounds. So you just keep <laughs> He's just loaded. Keep them with you because yeah, they I've learned that they give source points. So yeah. We can use them later. Like we, we could get so other source points through other means another time, so the deity's head and hands are missing, severed as if by a sword. You can't tell if this was meant to be symbolic somehow, or a mere act of vandalism. Yeah, well that's nothing. Alright, can we open the I guess we can't open this up. Alright. I guess that's it for Brackets' uh, I guess this was the vault. I, 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 before we finish off though, I would like to see... Uh, we, we did everything here, right? I guess. Wait, what's the optional objective? It just says Vault of Souls. 
The optional deck was probably to destroy the jars, because... Yeah. Because I'm telling you, that's... What I the, guess we can go talk to the necromancers now, right? Yeah, that's what they are, that's what they are I think. And they're going to be like, yo. Like, bruh, why are you destroy those? Uh, where, where can... Where is it at? Uh, I guess I gotta go up here somehow. Actually, we can go up here through... Up here. Actually, where's the fucking... Actually, I'll just go this way. Can you teleport me you over? This way. Can you teleport right, me over? Alright, sure, I'll... Uh, uh, sure, bro. Teleport my other character over. I need to be closer. There you go. Thanks, bro. Not perseverance gonna zap me. Oh no, it didn't zap me. What the fuck? I don't have perseverance. Sorry, I meant z retribution, but I don't have retribution have either. No, it's only when I have uh, bull form that I reflect. I mean, I could have done it just to be a dick, maybe, but you know. All right. I'll just go. I'll just go to where they are, and I'll just uh, talk to them because I'm actually curious. Because it should end the episode soon. Curious what they say when you have their soldier. Yeah. Well, I'm like, I found your soldiers, but, you know. I mean, they might, they might be slightly upset. Alright, I'm gonna give it a good old save Rooney. Here, did I ever tell you of the time right. that Necromancer, Tasmin, Rask, and Giwick. Which, which ones do you guys have? Uh, yes, you did. I have ah, how about the Tamsin. Yeah, we have we have them. Yeah, we have their the soldiers. Yes, I recall. Why are you still here? You have a vault to uncover and a soul jar to destroy. I mean, here's the thing: if we destroy them, uh, I mean, we might get their shit because they have things on them. Do you ever wonder if your lizard empire still stands? So. I mean, I. It's. I not wonder. They have items, don't, the don't they? Abides. Probably. Yeah, so. Let's see, what do I have on me? On. My dude, I have Tamsin. I'm gonna talk to Tamsin. My great house, the house of trade, rules still. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no! <laughs> Just do the starting dialogue? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, uh, yeah, now, now they might want to fight you now. <laughs> yeah. Even after the maggots took you um, down, you still fought so much. Silence I did save it just before I went in here, but we'll see where this goes. Uh, sure that you've... Our yeah. <laughs> uh, ask the where the jars are located. No mortal can enter. <laughs> no yeah. mortal can enter. My bag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it would be it would be a really dickish thing to do. <laughs> Don't do it. Why? All right, guys, let's play some poker. I will bet this. Brockus <laughs> 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 hit the blah 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 blah. At least until your uh, self uh, strike. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. The source from you. There's no curse in this world that I fear more. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> Alright, the next, next double strat, so I got. I was gonna, I was gonna use the thing for the inventory to eat their soul! <laughs> oh, you could have done that. I'm gonna see if there's any rewards for it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of already put her uh, thing on the table, so. I mean, interesting, interesting wager. I mean, I guess, I guess we could just kill them actually and keep the soldiers. I'm just, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna just try. I'm gonna try and eat one of them. We'll see what happens. The jar seems quieter now. It sits still. Eat on Sabil for just a moment. You feel when you open your eyes, you're back in your old body. Oh, it, it had some dialogue related to that. It is yeah, one of them disappeared. Oh no, one of them's dead. Sorry, I didn't actually read it through it that much. Yeah, she didn't drop anything, so fuck, fuck that. Alright, let me load it again. I just wanted to see what would happen. Alright, so... <laughs> so, sorry about that. We have two options. We can help them out, or we can just keep them for ourselves as a free source point during of combat. So, I mean... I don't think I care enough about source points for that. 
Okay, so you want to just, like, drink them all up, one by one? Well, can't we destroy them? I mean, we can, but we don't get a source point. <laughs> I don't care about like, we can just, if you want source points, so the it, place it, gives it, infinite it, source points. It gave, like, additional story, though, when we drank it, though. I didn't, I didn't really read into it that much. It fine. Right, well, let's try it. Fine, we'll just try and smash them all. Fine. The jar seems quieter now. It sits still. The jar shatters like glass, but a spirit rises from the shards like smoke. The ghost of a dwarf, bedecked in necromancer robes, winks and blows you a kiss before slowly fading to nothing. Beautiful. Thank you. My death right. waits. You, you just give, give, give the soldier arch two thing. I got a loot first. Yeah, it doesn't have anything. I looked. Do you ever oh. wonder give, give me the other two. I'll just, I'll, we'll just break stands. them. Fine. Give All right, fine, two. fine. Do, give me the word prints. The Empire abides, never straying from its course. The jar stands before you. A human spirit slips from the ruins of the jar. Decked in necromancer robes, she turns to you, bows, and starts to fade away to nothing. My eternal thanks, young one. Oh, time of death. Right, key. All right, next one. I gave him both to you already. Oh, it's the, the key for. On the jar stand, Smash you it. see a shape emerge from the room of the broken jar. A lizard in the finest necromancer robes. It grudgingly nods at you as it starts to fade from the mortal realm. Flesh. Farewell to bone. Nothing. Farewell. Oh, lucky find. What's the key for? I have no idea. Filthy iron key. What was the key to the door that we had to unlock? Probably. Be my guess. Yeah. Alright, well, I hope it was worth it. We got nothing. We got experience. No, it was literally nothing. Literally nothing. It's closed now. Does it does it actually go away the the, the thing or no? Yeah, it does go away. As soon as it's done. Well, that's it for that. Well, I'm gonna teleport to that little area, the ruined castle. And give us all source points? Yeah, I'm gonna get some, some source point dinner. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm coming too. Where is it at? It's a... Uh... Ruined castle. Oh, yeah. Dinner. This guy's still down here. <laughs> I don't know, can we help him? <laughs> Maybe we should see if we can, if we can help him out. This is my dinner, get away! Sabia wants him too. Alright. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we can help him out, actually. Well, we already tried uh, doing that thing, right? Hey, bl uh, use blood around him or something. I think I did that the first time we met him. We, we, we tried that too. Let me just save it. Uh Mercy killing him is the only option. The Magister looked, looked up, up as you will change yeah. your mind. Oh, be quick. Is there anything we need to you help? Can take this pain away. I don't want to die it. screaming. I'd pray to Damien himself. The Magister well, fucking kill him. It gives you experience and shit, so. The how did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> what those is it? Come, come help. <laughs> there, we got some experience for it and some loot. Yeah, gold boy. Yeah, there's nothing you can do to help that out there, so. I'm, I'm glad it's a slow, agonizing death. We got some snacks. I think my helmet can tell when I've consumed sores. <laughs> I wonder what the deal with that is. <laughs> Let's just keep, keep doing it. Should I keep doing it? My helmet. Oh. It's getting tight. As the source flows into your body, you feel a sudden gloom. <laughs> you your summoned a demon! to twist and warp. Darkness pours from it, and a demon steps out from your shadow. Where's Jay had when you need him? Hell's teeth. It feels good to breathe mortal air again. I can smell your putrid lives and Every breath. How delicious. But not as sweet as the sauce you fed me. 
that rich ambrosia, life's cloy nectar. Uh, gas, but curse town and in pristine condition, condition too. What a find. How I have missed you, mortals. So small minded, so focused on things of no consequence. It has been too long. But perhaps you could help me once again. I've had but a taste, and these have been hungry years. The demon leans in and sniffs, breathing deep. I need more. I need your sauce. I need your life's blood. Okay, I think it's a fight. <laughs> Just, uh, get a boy. No, but I have no hat anymore. He is the hat. He is the hat. <laughs> He's my hat. Just we just get fucked this guy up and then go. No. No, is it no hat, why? Why hat? Oh, <laughs> crit! Take it away! Stop that! <laughs> no, spare my hat. It, do it doesn't know what it means. I'm gonna beat the shit out of your hat, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice flesh sacrifice. Nice order. Uh. I, forgot, I, I, I was gonna do barrage, I forgot to do it, whatever. Not my hat. Oh. Hashtag not my hat. Man, it's opportunity attacks too. Well, you know what? That's what I think about your hat. <laughs> Punched my hat, you fucker. I'm gonna yell about it. Man, I'm gonna else. gang sign him. Your hat's fucking dead. I know it is. Like, oh, I'm not allowed to bull rush? Why? Because movement speed is zero. I don't know. But he had oh, you have to clash. Oh, no, curse blood! Yeah, boy. You might have that. No, look at the blood. Yeah, I got it's my... so disgusting. Wait, it has something else. It has shackles of pain. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's better now. What the fuck? Oh, it's still cursed, but it no longer grants me source points. Hey, can you eat his body? No, because that it was granted by the hat. Uh, the, ha damn. the hat, the hat's different now. Instead of getting a negative one leadership, it gives plus one leadership and shackles of pain. Huh. I mean, whatever. I guess. I guess that means maybe all of his, maybe all the tyrant items can be, like the curse can be some way broken. I'm, I guess... No, because it's still cursed. I'm still warm. No, oh, I guess. Well, okay, fair enough. I mean, I can try putting it on the ground and applying the bless on it. I'm just... I, I'm gonna, we're gonna try that quickly before we go. Uh, even though we've been here, like, literally forever. I have bless. Let's co op this guy. <laughs> Double the bless. Nice. Nice. It's uh, been cursed. No, I want it first. It's my dinner. Okay. Well, you we can't do that, so. Alright, guys, it looks like that's it for today. We just we... end the episode in this gruesome little pit. Yeah. Can't do anything else with that thing, so. Alright. Uh, I think I had another skill here. Yeah, I did Fire. Alright. I'll peace out, guys. Pizza out.